What's going on, everybody? How are you amazing motherfuckers doing right now? It is your long-lost amigo, Chris, a.k.a. Mr. Marone, 420, and I'm back with a brand new review. I know I've been away for a while. I could go into the whole detail of where the fuck I am, but you don't want to hear that, and I'll tell you about that in a brand new update video that I'll do down the line. Um, as I've been missing all of you, hopefully a few of you have been missing me, but let's talk about the movie I wanted to mention you today. Mindfuck films. Some of us love them, some of us hate them, and some of us will always be baffled by what the fuck we just watched. And those are the films I really like watching, because when they're good, they make you think. And when they're bad, you get an interesting filming experience. But we're going to talk about the one the ones I really enjoy. It comes from director Phil Stevens. Uh, it's 2015's very own flowers. Now I know some of you are looking at this and thinking, hey Chris, this isn't the regular flowers uh, disc. I know, it's like, you're right, because it's the pre unearthed film edition. This is the ones that doesn't have all the bells and whistles. It's just the film and chapters and that's it. So the film begins with the girl waking up inside a trash bag underneath the house. As soon as she rips, opens the bag, she realizes she's surrounded by dead bodies, blood, guts, piss, shit. Even a dead pig for some reason, and she realized, oh, I'm fucked. All of a sudden, she hears a car pull up to the house. It's possibly the owner, and he's dragging another girl into his house for I like to call, let's have a great Saturday night. Uh. Okay, so this is the part where the girl realizes, oh shit, I'm gonna, I gotta get the fuck out of there, or I'm dead. Big problem, there's no exit underneath the house. So she has to figure out a way to get back in the house and avoid Happy Mix Psycho time. Luckily, she does see a hole that she can crawl back into the house. And this is where the, the film goes from, oh, it's a uneventful underground film to, oh, this is a good idea. Well, now we're at the next scene and the girl was able to get through the whole of the, uh, the house. But remember when I said that this film goes from, all right, that's okay, to, oh, that's fucking clever. This is what I was talking about. There's a new girl there. You don't know what happened to the other girl, but there's a new girl there. Uh, she comes along with her own baggage, and I, the baggage I'm talking about is the nightmare that is in her. The nightmare that you get to experience along for the ride and this is what happens throughout the rest of the film uh, each new part of the house there's a new girl and each girl has her own nightmare to deal with and it's done in such a way that you're impressed by this is fucking good and it continues to the end where i'm not going to you know, spoil it for you. I'm just going to say that it's the ending is like, okay, I saw where it was going and it, it works. It really works for the whole aspect of the film. Okay, and we're at the part of the video where I give you my personal opinion of what I thought of the film. Loved it. I thought it was really fucking good when I saw it two years ago. And I'm ashamed I didn't talk about it then, but there's a reason I'm doing it now and I'll get to that in a little bit um, the fact that it was done for such a small budget just shows it's not how much money you put in but what you do with it what you do with creating something and I've seen directors put in three hundred thousand dollars for something and turned into a horrible piece of shit so Hampshire what a waste um, there is no script so no one's giving you corny lines no one's giving you uh, fake thoughts regarding anything that occurs it's just there they're there in the moment you have to real uh, rely on their actions and how they perceive to the situation um, the music's incredible so fucking good I mean, there's some great parts like, holy shit. Now, there's a couple of symbolisms in this film. I'm not quite sure. 
one dealing with flowers, and another one is dealing with a, a dead pig. Um, it could lead to a few other things, but I'm not quite sure what. But either way, Phil was do, able to do something fucking amazing uh, with this, and for that, I gotta thank him. Now, the reason I'm bring, doing a review right now, one, because I finally want to do it, and two, Phil is doing an Indiegogo for Flowers 2. Uh, he's currently like getting close to 4,000. He definitely needs help. I'm going to put a link in the description to where you can go and, you know, help him out. Um, he's a great guy. I'm definitely going to uh, contribute to the, the fun because uh, he just, his work impresses the shit out of me. Now, if you're interested in getting a copy, Unearthed Films it has a sale right now. It's on the website. I'll give you a link to where you can. Or if you're just interested in uh, watching it and running it, you can you can do that online uh, through Unearthed Films has a Vimeo uh, page where you can purchase and you can just watch it online and not get the physical copy. I like the physical copy, but some people really, really just like, oh, I can watch Flowers on the Go, and that's, it'd be an interesting thing to talk about with your mom. It's like, oh, what you watching? Oh, God, take that out. I don't see that now. So, yeah, I will give you a link to the Vimeo page where you can watch it uncensored, the Unearthed uh, website to where you can pick, pick your, uh, a copy for yourself. And of course, the Indiegogo uh, crowdfunding page where you can uh, help out Phil and so you can make flowers too. Uh, just a nice addition. Also, if you're in the neighborhood and on Facebook, stop by my Facebook page. If you have any questions, hopefully I can answer them. I can. I will let you know in advance. I won't answer questions on YouTube because it's so. Asinine. One, I just hate it, and two, it's just Facebook helps out a little bit better doing it. Um, if you want to stay on top of when I put up my videos, which is so f far and few between, uh, click on the bell for the notification. Um, guys, I appreciate taking the time on your busy schedule and checking this out. Hopefully, I'll have someone something up for you next week. Uh, possibly by Thursday or Friday. I have a good uh, review. I want to want to dabble in front of you. Okay, guys. I will talk to you later. You take care. Uh, love you very much. Till next time. Rate, comment, subscribe, and don't drink the Kool Aid. See ya.